All right, and here the trail you see winding our way from the parking lot and the trailhead. We have a overlook of a lake below. And the sound of the motors on Route 1. And evidence of a crapping horse or two. So this must be fun to take horses. All right. All right. Here's a junction where the yellow trail branches off. The white trail is principally designated for the Bay Circuit, and it's heading this way. We're up on some kind of terracey thing. My crackpot geology theory is that it may be the former basin of a kettle hole pond that receded because it doesn't really behave like a cam terrace. It doesn't really seem like a moraine, nor is it really showing much evidence of being an esker. And don't even think about considering that it's a Stossen Lee hill formation. As ever, like the distant sounds of battle or the rushing of the Amazon River near its headwaters, we have motorism. A mighty motor is our master. And we're coming from the parking lot and Mayflower. We've just about come to the southern end of this lake thing over here. And now the trail is curling over this way where we're supposed to be running into a boardwalk before long. We uh, descend from a little bit of upland area. Interesting surface geology. This trail heads off to the east. Don't know which one it is. And this is the one we want. And there we are looking north towards the parking lot. <coughs> and we're in sort of lower areas now after wandering some upland forest. We're on the edge of wetlands and stuff and oh look it's a boardwalk. Further indication of wetlands and we've been kind of wondering about a boardwalk. We heard rumors of one. And the boardwalk will tell you that you're finally getting towards the lower end of the Round Pond Preserve and are about to <coughs> meet the street once more as the base circuit slips out of its casual outfit and dons its street clothes. Ah, uh, yeah, and you can kind of tell because there's private home, which tells us we're getting close to a public street. Big private home. And we're getting far enough away from the distress way so that the motor sounds are subdued. Or perhaps it's the density of the woods acting as a sound damper. <coughs> we're turning away from the big house, as is indicated on the map. And we're heading ever closer to the southern end trailhead. Oh wow, look at the checkerberry growing on the old stump. Oh, lots of the stuff everywhere. Oh, now it even gets sort of wetter. You can kind of hear wetland birds chirping. And which way do we go? Ah, there we go. Which way do we go? Have you ever 
eternal question, readily answered here in Duxbury with skill and aplomb, unlike some places we know. So there, through this nice corridor of young pines on the edge of a lake, you have our return to a trailhead in the street. Here, you have another odd little fork, and the trail indicates we turn this way. Yeah, and an extensive cattail swamp. Lots of pond lilies. So yeah, it's a very elaborate wetland area. So this is what we come out to. This is what it's come to, I fear. And uh, a little way down this access dirt road, you'll hit the street, Elm Street. There's a fine lily pad pond, all resplendent and everything. Still lots of lily pad stuff. Here's the welcome to conservation land. Pretty straight ahead rules. Keep it safe and preserve it for future people. Forget fires, guns. Don't cut and remove stuff. Ride motorized vehicles or camp out overnight. Pretty straight ahead. They're a reasonable bunch. So yeah, this is your southern trailhead at the Round Pond property in Duxbury. And from here, you would just walk this way and we'll come to the street. And here we are at the trail end. This is probably Cherry Lane or whatever it is. Here's the instructions. Use Mayflower Street to enter back where we're going. And the area is patrolled. Duxbury doesn't favor nonsense uses of their conservation properties. Good dog. Oh, good dog. So here it is. This is your basic run from one end to the other of Round Pond Conservation. A parcel.